This coffee bar has some adjustable shelves, so let's talk shelves. I use three quarter inch Baltic birch, and I will trim out the front edge with a piece of soft maple. It's one and a quarter inch tall, three quarter inch thick. So the very first part of this process is prepping this piece of plywood to receive this piece of trim. Just real quick note, there's two reasons why I do this, just like you know, many people. It hides this exposed edge of the plywood, so it's a little more aesthetically pleasing, and it gives a lot more strength to this uh, shelf. Now, although the Baltic birch is extremely rigid and strong, it just makes it that much stronger. So the first part here is prepping this piece of plywood, and this is honestly been such a difference maker for me. It's this quarter inch plywood trim bit from Collins Tool Company, and I'll link it in the description. I got this tip from Spencer Lewis from Insider Carpentry, and what I was having trouble with when I would attach this piece of edging, even using clamps, some you know nails, whatever it might be, I never could get a really consistent seam between the plywood and the piece of trim. And ever since I started using this trim bit, it honestly has made such a difference. That seam is tight, consistent, and then allows it to paint up a lot more, you know, a lot better and like a more of a consistent piece. So honestly, it's a very little detail. It doesn't take much time to do, but essentially what this bit does and it's, it's gonna be really difficult to see because it's so minor, but basically it creates a dip in the front edge of the plywood. It'll make it concave, so it'll create like this recess in the middle here, so your contact points will be the top and bottom. Again, it's very difficult to even see it. It's very difficult to even see that this bit sticks past this piece of wood, but it does. Uh, but that little recess makes such a big difference in getting a tight seam. Just one of the notes about the shelves here before I get to uh, creating this recess. I undersize my shelves an eighth of an inch. So basically a sixteenth on each side. So it's an eighth of an inch less than the opening and a sixteenth front to back. Uh, so again, an eighth of an inch less than the depth. And I found that to be a really nice number. It works well for me. All right, so let me show you a clip here of this tool in action. As you saw in that last clip, it doesn't remove a lot of material, but what it does remove makes a big difference. And that is muy bueno.
chamfered and sanded use the DeWalt DCW 600 white side 2302 chamfer bit and just put a nice chamfer on all these parts and again this seam you can see what a difference that bit makes that puts that little recess on the front edge really helps to get a nice tight seam.